So, you've recently just bought Forza Horizon 5 and you sat there wondering to yourself, I wonder how accurate this really is. Well, in today's video, I'm going to be investigating just that. I'm going to be testing my 1991 Mazda MX-5 against Forza Horizon 5. First things first, we need to build a Mazda MX-5 in the game to be as accurate as my real life car. So as you can see, we have here in front of us a stock Mazda MX-5 that looks quite similar to mine. <laughs> um, but here in the world of Forza Horizon 5. So what we are going to do is we are going to attempt to make this as accurate to my physical car as humanly possible. Obviously there are things that can't be done like the headlights, the exact front lip that I have, the bumper cut um, and one or two other things but we're going to try and make it as accurate as possible. I would like to take this second to quickly mention if I haven't already um, the fact that the car in the game is a 1994 I believe, or 1995 shape, so it has the 1.8, not the variable valve timing 1.8, but the 1.8, so it already has a larger engine than my car. Um, I'm going to be honest, I don't think it will make too much of a difference, so I'm going to try build the car pretty much the exact same as what mine is, despite the displacement uh, difference. To quickly show you guys that um, the displacement is actually what did I say? No, 1.8, there we go. Uh, we're going to quickly come here and as you can see on the bottom left there it says displacement 1,8 so it is a 1.8. Anyway, whilst we're here let's try make this car as accurate to mine as possible. Alright, let me quickly run you through the different mods that I've done. So I've obviously added a front lip like my car has, I've added very similar rims. I don't know if they're necessarily the same weight as what I've got, but similar rims. I have um, the cross drilled brake discs because I felt that that was kind of close to what I have now, I suppose. Um, and then I landed up putting on sports tires because the tires that I have on now are not necessarily very biased towards sports, but they are quite grippy. So I, I felt they're not necessarily semi slicks, but they should be more than just like an average street tire. Um, and then everything else is pretty much to spec. The tires are as wide as what my real tires are. Um, engine wise, I didn't really know what to add. Um, the intake, I, I have a cone filter with an intake pipe, so I felt that that's what I needed to add, as well as um, not that I actually have an exhaust, but I have an exhaust leak and my car runs kind of rich because of it. So I, I thought maybe adding <laughs> a little bit of an exhaust system would be roughly the same. Um, I think, oh, and then I also added the racing diff because my car has the uh, UNOS special, special edition diff, limited slip diff whilst I believe the car in the game has an open diff stock, so I thought I'd just put in this diff because it will help make it a limited slip diff. First things first, a simple 0 to 60. How quickly do both cars go from 0 to 60 kilometers per hour?
Next, a simple 0 to 100. This now will test the differences between acceleration on the higher end as well as the low end. Next up, we have a simple test to test the speed at each gear. For example, in first gear at 4000 RPM, what speed am I traveling versus what speed is the car in the game traveling at? Okay, first gear 4000 RPM. Our next test will be a 60 to 0 test. How fast can the car slow down from 60 to a dead stop? Next up is a body roll challenge. How much does the suspension compress on the one side as you take a corner, both here in real life and in the game. Our next test is an ease to drift. How easy is it to get the car to step out and start a drift? Uh, now from previous experience, even in the wet, in the rain, my car is exceptionally difficult to get to step out and start drifting. Next up, we will do a sound comparison. How accurate is the sound in Forza versus in real life?
we go guys uh, in conclusion Forza Horizon 5 is reasonably accurate however I do think that it oversells the cars a little bit it makes the cars a little bit more responsive and faster than they actually should be however that could also be because of the fact that well in the game the car was a 1.8 as well as then my upgrades on top of that instead of compensating and making it slower to try to be more accurate however there were some differences i noticed regardless for example a stock 1.6 in a miata can rev up to uh i believe 7200 whilst in the game it was revving up to eight again this could be an accountable for some of the mods that i have placed on the cars however i think that's as accurate as it's going to be because let's face it it is a arcade racing game their point is not uh, to be as accurate as humanly possible the point is to be more so entertaining and easy to pick up for example the drifting it is exceptionally difficult to drift a car whilst in Forza all I had to do was turn and just put my foot flat on the accelerator and then the car wanted to step out I noticed some small details like the gear ratio seemed to be slightly shorter ego better acceleration however i don't think that accounts for the 0 to 60 and 0 to 100 times that that car was getting versus a real life car even if i had to null and void all of the performance mods i still think it would be a little bit too quick regardless it was fun to actually make this video and i'd like to do another one like this but perhaps with a different game need for speed uh, a simulator game of some sorts oh before i go uh, i should also mention on mondays and wednesdays now i'm actually going to be playing video games on the channel or at least going to be trying it's not something that's particularly permanent and i may not, uh, miss a, a few uploads and stuff like that it's nothing i'm taking seriously i just thought it would add a little bit of variety to the channel having some car gaming videos on the side uh, so on monday and wednesday nights again and on top of that i thought it would just be entertaining for you guys and it might help my channel out which will be nice um but don't don't be afraid normal vlogs are still coming every friday or at least again if i can get them <laughs> um so yeah don't be don't be worried normal content will continue it's just i'm going to try to be playing games on monday and wednesday nights if i can get my recording software to work correctly but until then guys i hope you enjoyed this episode if you did please leave a like and a comment on what game i should try next maybe what car i should try next um and then until next time guys cheers So, nope. <laughs> Next up, we have a simple test to teach. Uh, speak English, me, please. Our next test, I don't even know what it is, but.